Hi, and greetings from the Capitol. This is an exciting week in the Senate, and we're really pleased that we're launching a bunch of important initiatives for education. A number of really great issues have come up, and it's led to some really spirited debate, and I'm looking forward to more of those happening in the coming weeks. It was interesting. I had a constituent in my office, and he asked a really great question about how we set these priorities when it comes to some of the educational concerns. And it led to a great discussion because what we know is that we just have to be very strategic and targeted, and this is a great example of how the legislative process works. Um, we'll all work together, we'll all reflect what's going on in our districts around the state, and we'll come up with a, with a good program in the final analysis. But in the meantime, we're, gonna, we're talking about some new initiatives um, that do reflect some of these challenges and priorities we have. Um, for example, facilities. There's a real inequity around the state and the way that we fund facilities for our districts. So we're looking at some new solutions for that. Early, child, child, early childhood learning is getting a lot of attention because it is such an important area that is probably an area where we get the greatest return on the investment of our dollars because if we can help kids start out early on the right foot, it sets them up for long-term success. Some of the problems happen when they don't come to school ready and then we have to go back and fix some of those problems after, after the fact and that gets to be more challenging. Um, other issues that we're looking at include um, uh, a bill that I'm working on, which is high school counselors and other student support services. We've had a lot of attention to the fact that Minnesota ranks 48th in the nation in our ratio of counselors to students, and that's not really going to support our kids for the success that, they, that they're going to need in their lifelong experience. Um, that includes everything from social and behavioral and emotional issues all the way to college and career guidance and counseling in that area. And if we can prepare kids to go to post-secondary ready and excited to learn with a good pathway that's a good fit for them, then they'll take the right classes. They won't waste time classes on classes that aren't a good fit and it'll help with student debt and some of those issues. All of this is about our world's best workforce. These are all important initiatives. We need to make sure that our kids are ready for kindergarten, that they're reading at grade level in third grade, that we're solving the achievement gap, and that we're having our kids graduate from high school, college, and career ready. And this is gonna be a robust debate about a bunch of great issues, and I'm really excited to participate. Thanks for checking in.